if you are stuck, lost, scared, confused, maybe you feel defeated, maybe you feel like nothing you're doing is working, then this video is for you. A lot of times in life, we face adversity in different forms. Could be academic. Maybe you have a class and you just don't get it. Maybe there's pressure at work. Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Maybe it's just friends. Maybe it's everything. Maybe it's life. And you go online, you, you look for advice, and you get the typical advice that's online. And it doesn't help. So what do you do? How do you solve your problems? Well, first, let me just say that you're not alone, right? Everyone, everyone has problems, right? Everyone, everyone is going through stuff. And that should give you some comfort because you know you're not alone. You're not. If you look at people who seem to have perfect lives, but I guarantee you they have their own set of problems. And while their problems might be unique to them, they're still problems. So there's only one thing you can do when you're in a tough situation and you don't know what to do. And that's to focus on the present. Because... If you focus on anything else, it's not going to help you. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with thinking about the past and learning from, from your mistakes. But if you're in a situation where you need action, you need to do something, you need to solve your problems, whether it is learn mathematics, get in shape, get a job, fix your life, there's only one thing you can do. And that is take action. That is the only thing you can do. And action, my friends, only takes place in the present state of mind. It's as simple as that. It's a very, very simple fact. And when you remind yourself of that fact, it is enlightening. Because all of a sudden you see the solution to all of your problems is staring you in the face. Take action because it's the, it is the only thing that leads to results, right? Think about that. Think about that. You, you can sit here and you can think all day long. You can do research all day long, all day. You can think about the past. You can plan for the future. But if you don't do something, nothing is going to change. And that is a very, very, very powerful thing. It's, it's so powerful that my first book is based entirely on this concept. It's called uh, Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. And, and the whole book is based on taking action. And it gives you superpowers. And they're all based on getting you to take action. Because again, action is the only thing that can help you. And you might say, well, what action do I take? Any action, a anything, even a small step is better than no steps. It's like if you're trying to learn something hard in mathematics, you know, and you're like, I'm never going to be able to learn all this. It's, it's too much math. 
Well, if you don't start, then you'll never finish. And again, what's the point of even thinking about it? If, if you want results, you, you just have to act. You, you just have to do it. And if you feel like you can't take action even after all of this, there's, there's a couple things that you can do. I always like to think about the samurai. The samurai were ancient Japanese warriors. They lived in a time where if they hesitated, well, hesitation meant death, right? If, if, if they didn't act, that's it. Right, they had to act first, think later. Hesitation was death for the ancient samurai. To be like the samurai. Act first, refine later. Right, take action. There's a simple rule. I don't know where it's from. It's in one of my books. But I don't know where it's from. I heard it somewhere read it somewhere. I, I don't know if there's an origin for it. It's called the one breath rule. And it's a way to get you to take action. So let's say you're stuck in a position where you don't know what to do. You can't decide. And by the way, indecisiveness causes stress. So the longer that you are in a state of inaction, the more stress you have it, the worse it is. So that you, you, you want to just act is you take a deep breath and then as you inhale, you say, okay, I'm thinking. And then as you exhale, you make your choice and then you just take action. So it's like, should I study math or physics? Take a deep breath, math, and you just do math, right? It's just, it's a silly thing, but it works. Many of the most successful business people in the world follow similar principles, not necessarily that one breath rule, but they take action first, even though they know that it might not be the perfect result. They might not have all the facts, but they know that it's better to act and then refine later than to just sit there and overthink. Overthinking is a common thing, especially for everyone. For, you know, I, I always think that the smarter you are, the more critical thinking skills you have, the more you know, the more hard thinking you do, like, you know, working on math for a long time where every detail matters, you know, the inequalities matter, you know, for all there exists, every word matters, right? Every word matters. And so the more you pay attention to details like that, the more you start to think about things and you start to apply that to other areas of your life and you forget sometimes that sometimes you just have to act and not think about it so much. And so that's also a skill. It's also a level of intelligence, right? Being smart enough to know, being smart enough to know that you need to take action when you don't have all of the information available in front of you. Act, my friends, and that will get you out of a rut. That's the only thing that's going to get you out of a rut. You know, if you're stuck on something, if you're struggling with something, action is the only thing you can do to cause change, right? Because if you sit at home in your room and you think about stuff, you can think all day long. That's not going to cause any changes in your life. You can sit in your room in front of your computer for days, for weeks, for years, thinking and plotting and planning, dreaming, reminiscing, having some nostalgia. But... Action is the only thing you can do to change your life. Whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's get a job, maybe you want a better job, right? I mean, that helps. Right? Money's important in the world. Things cost money. We have to eat. Food costs money. It's expensive, right? So hopefully you can get a good job if you don't already have one. So that, that's a good reason to start taking action. Maybe you're in college and you want to get a degree or you want to learn something. Take action. Action, action, action. It's, it's the one thing 
that can change your life. So the next time you're sitting there and, and you're thinking, I don't know what to do about my life. I don't know what to do about my significant other, my family, my friend. Take action. Do something to fix it. And it'll make a big difference in your life. And the better you get at it, the better you get at taking action, the better you get at solving your problems in life. It's not going to make your life perfect, but let me tell you, you'll become a lot better. Anyways, just kind of a random video I wanted to make here. Um, subscribe, like, share if you want. I have math courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from the description of this video or from my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcer.com. And I have books. The one I talked about, the action book, is Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. It's a very easy read. It's got some personal things in there, not much. It's mostly about how, well, it helps you find your big dream. Hopefully it does. And, you know, so you have a goal in life. And it shows you how to get it. So... Yeah, I think I think it can help people and that's why that's why it's there. Stay strong, my friends.